Hi everyone, in this video, uh, we are going to know the total net sale be, uh, made by Hall John in this database. If we look at this database, uh, we will see that we have uh, different chunks under the sales person and different net sales. Okay, to achieve this, we make use of uh, two methods and the first method is sum product. If you don't forget, in my last video, I've taught you how to use some product to extract the data from the large chunk of database. If you know how to use this function very well, it will make life easier for you to achieve many things. Okay. Then let's start and watch. In the first method is equal to sum product, sum product. Okay, double click it. My array is the data I want to look my information from. Okay. Command put parentheses at uh, which says percent John. John, John is shrink. Put quotation John John and the quotation is equal to there. You will now go to the column in which you will find the John. Come down, control shift down. Okay, okay, close the parentheses. And whenever you want to compare row with column, you have to make use of multiplication sign that is shift multiply by open another parentheses. Here under this column, I have net sales. That is what I want to sum from net sales. It's also string. Okay, net sales. And don't forget to write it the way is it in your database so that you will not get a uh, error. Sales. Okay, and the quotation is equal to is equal to uh, from A. Control shift right arrow okay and the parentheses enter okay click yes to complete the parentheses yes I have six thousand and thirty six let's use the second method and this second method is sum uh if is equal to sum if okay range is the column here which I find my six person Okay, comma. What is the criteria? My criteria is John. Put it on is a shrink in the quotation. John. John. And the shrink. Comma. Then some ring. Where I want to um from. Okay. Control shift down. Okay. Enter. Okay. Six thousand and thirty six. You can see that I got the same answer, which implies that the both functions are uh, work effectively. Let now confirm it manually. Okay. Press old control key, John. This is the first John. Okay. This is the second John. Uh this is third John. And this is fourth John. And if you look down here, so you can see. That I have 6036, which implies both our Excel function work effectively. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, if you have any question, don't hesitate to ask uh, your question. I will provide answer to your question uh, instantly. Use Excel and be Excel. Bye for now.